Hi, I'm Tim. And on behalf of the entire Apollo family, I'm super excited that you've chosen us for your RV experience. I'm about to share with you all the tips and tricks on operating your RV. So your two best friends on your travels will be your Apollo Connect app and the how-to guide. With the Apollo Connect app, you can find local points of interest, get prepared for your road trip with our safe drive and how-to videos, and with our friends at Camp Stay, find and book campgrounds and holiday parks. Your second best friend will be the how-to guide. The how-to guide contains all the relevant instructions on the features of your chosen RV. First of all, we'll quickly run through the symbols used throughout the how-to guide. No driving during procedure. This symbol indicates that the procedure cannot be completed whilst the vehicle is in motion. Requires electricity. This symbol indicates the procedure is only available when you're connected to 240 mains power at a campground. Requires gas. This symbol indicates the procedure functions with LPG from the gas bottle. Requires battery. This symbol indicates the 12 volt battery system is required for the operation. Use dump station. This symbol indicates the procedure should only be performed at a registered dump station. All right, campers, I'm gonna give you a super quick overview of the outside of your vehicle, starting on the driver's side. First up, we've got our toilet access point right here. The LPG bottle is stored here in this compartment. You'll connect your RV to the campground power right here. This is the hot water system exhaust. Make sure there's nothing covering here because it does get a little hot. So on the passenger side of your RV now, we've got our fresh water tank inlet point right here. Down here you'll find the grey water outlet valve. This is where your fuel cap is. Just take note the RV runs on diesel fuel only. So that's a super quick introduction to the outside of your RV. Now let's get into more detail and show you how your RV works. Your Euro Tourer comes with a bunch of keys. You've got a vehicle remote, toilet and gas key, and fresh water key. Just remember, don't separate the keys, don't leave the keys in the ignition, and have the keys with you at all times. Connecting your RV to the campground power, first you'll need your extension lead, which will be back here. Just lift the cap and plug into your RV. Insert the lead into the campsite and turn on. All paid campgrounds will have 16 amp outlets. Make sure the circuit breaker is in the on position. Once you're ready to leave the campground, turn off all appliances prior to disconnecting from the power inlet. Use your thumb to release the lever and pull the lead out. Disconnect and store the lead before moving your RV. The grey water is the water collected from the shower and the sink. Check the level of the grey water tank at the control panel regularly. You'll need to turn the water pump switch on first, then push the monitor button. So when it's time to empty your grey water tank, you'll need your grey water hose from the back of the vehicle and you'll connect it to here, the outlet for the grey water tank. Please empty at a registered dump station. Remove the cap and just push it in. And pull these two handles back. When the other end is in the dump point, open the valve. Once empty, close the valve, release the grey water hose, and replace the cap. Your RV comes with a fresh water tank that supplies water to the shower, toilet, and the sink. We recommend you don't drink this water. We recommend you boil the water if you want to drink it. Check the level of the fresh water tank at the control panel. When getting close to empty, or every two days, simply refill here at the water inlet. You'll need the fresh water key and the hose. Make sure the hose is inserted as far as possible. Connect the hose to the tap using the adapter provided. Once the tank is full, disconnect the hose, remembering to take the adapter with you. Your RV comes with one gas bottle, which is stored right here. The LPG is used when cooking at the stove and used during the hot water process. The vehicle must be on level ground for the system to work. When you need LPG, turn on the valve all the way. Please do this slowly, otherwise the gas may freeze in the pipes. Once you've finished cooking or heating water, just make sure you turn the gas off at the bottle.
The TV operates on 12 volt system and 240 volt mains power when connected. Switch on at the control panel and use the remote to turn the TV on. Always perform a channel search at each new location. Your RV is equipped with an electronic aerial. Please be aware reception strength will vary depending on where you travel to. The fridge operates using the 12 volt battery and the 240 mains power when connected at a campground. Simply switch on at the main control panel and set to the desired temperature. We recommend you set the fridge to 4. The lights work off the 12 volt system. Just remember to turn them off when they're not in use or you will drain the battery if you're not connected to mains power. Simply turn on and off at the main control panel and also at each individual light. When you're ready to cook, your RV's got a fantastic little cooker here. It's got three gas burners powered by the LPG bottle. You'll need to go outside and turn the gas on at the bottle. Make sure you open the valve all the way. To start with, you must have the range hood on in order to light the stove. To use the gas burners, push and rotate the dial and hold and press the ignite switch. Continue to hold the dial to ensure the gas stays lit. Once you've finished cooking, wait a while until the stove has cooled down enough before lowering the lid. Your RV has a hot water system that is powered by LPG or mains power and ignited with the 12 volt system. This provides hot water to the shower and tap at the sink. The two switches at the control panel are for the LPG or electricity. Using gas to heat the water, firstly turn on the LPG at the bottle. Then turn on the 12 volt water heater switch and select the gas switch at the water heater panel. The green light will light up when the water is being heated. Wait at least 30 minutes for the water to heat. If you see the red light at the water heater switch, there is a fault and the gas has failed to light the system. Wait one minute and start the process again. If it continues to fail, you can perform a hard reset. Switch off the system, turn off the gas at the bottle and go to the hot water system underneath the seat. Most will have a red button you can push which resets the system. Hold the button in for a few seconds and the red light will go out. If the water heater does not have a red button, you will need to reset the system by flicking the gas switch on and off repeatedly until the red light goes out. If you're connected to mains power at the campground, you can use electricity to heat the water. Simply turn on at the control panel by selecting low heat or high heat. Some RVs will have a Truma hot water system. This will only work using the LPG. Turn on the LPG at the bottle, then select 60 degrees on the boiler. Once heated, the hot water can then be used by turning on the 12 volt water pump switch. Your RV has an internal heater that is heated by the LPG and ignited by the 12 volt system. To use the heater, firstly turn on the LPG at the bottle. Switch on the heater switch at the control panel and then select the flame icon to start heating. Adjust the desired temperature with the second dial. The green light will come on when heating. If you see the red light come on, the LPG has failed to ignite. To reset the system, turn everything off including the LPG bottle. If your system has red rings here, you'll need to turn the temperature to maximum and quickly turn the selector to the fan icon. The red light should then go out. If your system has black rings here, you'll need to turn the temperature to maximum and quickly turn the selector to the gas icon. Once the red light is out, start the process again. Your microwave is only going to work when you're connected to mains power at a campground. When you drive away, we recommend you stow the microwave plate away for safekeeping. The cutlery drawer is a handy spot for the plate. The power points allow you to use your 240 volt appliances. These will only work when connected to mains power at a campground. The toilet uses water from the fresh water tank and 12 volt battery to flush. Turn on the toilet and water pump switches before using the toilet. Open the toilet lever, press the blue button to flush. Once finished, close the lever. The waste from the toilet is collected in a cassette accessed here. The toilet lever will need to be shut before the toilet cassette can be pulled out. 
When you're emptying your toilet cassette, please use a registered dump station just like this one. Unscrew the cap and empty the cassette. When your cassette's empty, just use the hose to give it a nice flush out and you're good to go. Once cleaned, insert the cassette back and add one toilet chemical with one flush to charge the toilet system. Once you've finished your holiday, return the RV and leave the toilet cassette clean and completely empty. The lagoon table is removable and must be removed when converting the lounge to the bed. Remove the tabletop by loosening the lever. If you run out of room, simply pull the handle to disengage the gear, rotate, re-engage the gear and continue to loosen. The arm and leg can be stored underneath the table by sliding into this groove and locking off. To convert the rear lounge into a bed, undo the table and place in between the seats. Get the extra bed board from behind the driver's seat. Remove the side cushions and use to fill the gap to complete your mattress. Some Euro Tourers will have a bed board that slides across to fill the gap. Simply lift the locking pin to release the slide. Remove the side cushions and use to fill the gap to complete your mattress. All right guys, that's it from me. Don't forget, your two best friends are gonna be your how-to guide and the Apollo Connect app. We wish you all the best on your trip and we'll see you next time.